Now? Can now. I talk now? Yes. <laughs> How about now? Okay, now? Now. Now, no, maybe now? Yes. All right. Wait, I'm trying to... Hi! Hi! You're watching Coyote <laughs> Check on Better Ass Radio. We're a little late. This is what happens when we have to run our own tech. Look. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. There's always something. There was there a is. big storm that came through and uh, knocked out the internet, so I had to reboot everything. Yeah. But we're here. We didn't make it we're last here. week. So at least we made it this week. Yep. So that's start, right? Yes. All right, cool. I'm just sharing, so don't mind me if I'm a little bit distracted. No, go away. <laughs> Why are you calling? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, so, okay. And we don't even have, like, I can't even stall with promos now. <laughs> I know, because we don't really have any. Um, so, so bear with us, guys. We're just trying to get a little organized, trying to share this around. Um, and talk about the weather. The uh, weather sucks. We've been, like, inundated with rain for the past fucking week. Dude, I don't care. I don't care. I'll oh, just share this again. We have had, we had, like, three weeks of, like, 95 degree weather. And it was hot and wicked dry. My poor garden looks like a half shriveled like old lady it's like <laughs> and that's a bad mental image no it's true and she hates me right now so um <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad for the rain because now the rest of my garden what's left that didn't completely just shrivel up and die out um like feels better they're they're okay my tomato plants are turning tomatoes red again and they're not like go fuck yourself you wretched woman where is the water <laughs> well that's good yeah yeah so um do you need tomatoes because <laughs> i have tomatoes by the way i plant- sure i'll learn how to make like tomato paste or something i planted nine tomato plants this year how many did that, that yield a lot mistake. of tomatoes right that was a mistake mm-hmm. yeah yeah. yeah. And I planted um, six pepper plants, and I don't eat peppers. I don't eat peppers. I'll make stuffed peppers, uh-huh. but I only eat the stuffing. I don't eat the peppers. <laughs> I like the flavor, and I like, well, I like the flavor. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's about, about it. it. I don't I do not do the whole pepper thing. There. No. They taste like dirt. <laughs> that's what that's what peppers taste like to me. They taste like dirt. I understand. So are we all shared now that I've just blown like three minutes talking about the fucking weather in my garden? I think so. I think I'm ready. I guess. We'll just go with that. Okay. We encourage you to share though, if you're watching. Just hit yeah, the share button. Share. We didn't we didn't really say that, but share. Share. Okay, um, so let's that? start with some of this news. Okay. Okay, everybody. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. My dog's freaking. All right. Um, I was. Okay, the first article is regarding the remains that were brought back this morning from North Korea, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I have mixed feelings about this. All right. Because they've handed over 55 cases believed to c- contain the remains of American service members who died in the Korean War. Mm hmm. But how do we know right. that they're not just a random 55 people that they decided they were going to kill and stick in a box? Uh-huh. That was kind of my question, too. It was like, or, you know, I don't know. I guess you really... When they test them, eventually we'll know. But yeah, I'm know. not excited yet. <laughs> I Are we actually going to test them? Or, don't we have we to? Do to find out who they are? Are we? I would hope so. I don't know that that's a thing, actually. What? To find out who they are by their remains? Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know that they actually will be doing that. Well, I would hope that they would try to identify them through some kind of 
I don't know, DNA or something out of the bone or, I mean, they did it with, um, after 9-11, they were identifying people by the remains that they found, pieces of remains. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's just, I don't. I want fucking proof. I'm not going to be all excited that they actually did something until we have proof. Yeah, yeah. No, look, I am 100% with you. I think that we should. I just don't know that they will. Well, if they don't, then I don't really know how you can think that they fulfilled their end of the bargain. Because we have no idea if they went and just killed some of their people and... Burned them up or something. Uh-huh. You know? It's I Little know. Kim. His know, dad invented fucking I, air. Come I on. I know. I know. I know. I'm, t- I'm totally fucking with you there. I'm just saying that I don't actually know that that's a thing. Uh, well, we'll find out, I guess. I guess. But at least at least they made maybe an effort, an initial effort. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Uh... Mattis was hailing the return of the U.S. remains. He says it's a positive tone. The handover follows through on a promise North Korea made to President Trump. Right. So, you know, at least they're they're acting like they're grateful and gracious. But I'd still, I want fucking proof. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm totally with you. I just don't think um, they will. Do testing. I don't think that they will. Well, I don't know. Like, is that a is that a sign that we don't trust them or something? Are they going to take it as like some kind of fucking offense or some shit like that? Fuck them. <laughs> Look, I'm yeah. I, mean, I see I what you're saying. Think, I just but, don't think that'll happen. I just think that they'll take it with a grain of salt and be grateful that we got them back. And I don't know, dude. We'll see. We'll see. The other thing that hey, made look, me... Hey, look. You know what? What? Why don't we take a poll to okay. see if our listeners think that we will or won't test. And we'll make a bet. If I okay, w- let's have a bet. All right, if I win, if I win, <laughs> something will happen. If you win, something will happen. <laughs> okay, we'll have to figure out what that is. <laughs> we'll have to figure out what that is, right? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll come up with something good. Maybe our listeners will be able to make some suggestions. But if I win, I don't think that they'll test the remains. If I win, then. Uh, and what, we have to give it, like, a time frame. What, okay. What are we going to say? Like, I mean, supposedly they're going to be buried, right? There's going to be, like, some ceremony? Yeah. Next they better get... One of our... Um, they're saying that they need to get the UN flag off it and put an American flag on it. I agree with that. I that NATO that flag too. is not I, what I want to see on it. I just think that... Yeah, so let's put a time frame on it. Let's say Okay. Um a month. A month. Yeah, let's say a month. Four okay. weeks. We'll do four weeks. All right. See if they've tested. If I win. I don't know. We'll get something good. <laughs> All right, we'll come up with that too within the month. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. Next. I think it's I, I don't know if anybody else is drinking. I've had a really long week. Holy fuck. You've had a long week. I don't have very many. Ma- like, this is all I have. I'm a little sad. That's all I got. It's so, so I, I only have a couple shots, but off. I think it's time. So I suggest if you're drinking and not driving, do a shot or have a drink of your beer. Or wait a minute. I got to pu- get my wheels on. Hold on. Get your wheels on. Get your wheels on. Got to get my wheels on. All right. So. Cheers. That too. Ah. Yucky. Okay, moving on. Oh, that was harsh. 
Um, I thought I found this very amusing. Okay. Facebook value crashes 119 billion, the worst one day stock market fall in history. Well, woo, woo. That's what happens <laughs> when you're a complete cunt. Mm hmm. Right? It's called karma. Karma is a bitch. You know, though, so the thing is, and I, I love the fact, I mean, I really felt very good about that happening. Me too. Um, the only exception is that uh, we use Facebook Live to do our show. <laughs> um, that would suck. We'd be out of a job. I'm sure we'd find some other platform to go on, but I'm just saying we'd be out of a job. On the other hand, I would really love for Facebook to no longer be part of my life. Yeah. No, I'd be okay with that. It's like a love-hate relationship. I really, um, in some instances, love the fact that I get to connect with people all over the world. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, um, I don't, yeah. You get to connect with people like all people, over the world. So, yeah, <laughs> so I, I have to connect with people all over the world. It is a catch-22, really. It really is. And I my, my uh, first like Facebook picture I ever put up popped up the other day at one of those memory things. Yep. I'm like, I, you know, I just should have never even fucking done it. <laughs> like my life would be so much simpler <laughs> if yep. I just had stayed the fuck away from Facebook. But, but I have met really awesome people. I, you and I met on Facebook and yeah. you know, it's like you said, it's a catch 22 because there's definitely networking that I've done and relationships that I've formed that, would have otherwise been virtually impossible. Mm -hmm. So there is a benefit to it, but Facebook itself becoming, um, I mean, we talked about, we've been around doing the show for a while and I remember articles we did about Facebook and the way that they were presenting information to people and doing basically a psychological experiment on the people that were participating without our knowledge. Right. They were posting on certain people's pages. They would post animal abuse pictures and animal abuse stories and animal this. And, I mean, abuse this and, you know, kid abuse and just a whole gamut of bad information, like downer information. And then on other people's, uh, they'd post like all good information. That would be the news that you saw that would get through to your page right. to go on your wall. <laughs> and they were basically seeing if you had been inundated with the bad news or the bad Facebook post, you know, the, the bad news, whether it be real news or fake news, but, um, that your posts would reflect that because your posts would be showing how, you know, you'd be like, fuck this day. And you just, everything would be miserable and have a negative connotation to it. And vice versa, if you were getting fed all this happy news and everything's good and wonderful, all your posts were all good and wonderful, you know? Right. And, they were fucking with our heads from the fucking get go. That was years ago. They came out with that. So happy. News my whole thing with Facebook is, you know, he keeps coming out and apologizing and basically saying he's going to censor it more where Facebook, not that you knew, I mean, you knew nothing was private when you put it out on Facebook, but it wasn't anybody trying to manipulate you. You were just, it was, you know, a conversation with other people. There wasn't like all kinds of advertisement. There wasn't all kinds of left-leaning versus right-leaning news. Like all this stuff has ramped up to the point where it is karma. He has fucked himself out of $119 billion in one day. And his personal assets went down too. Which Good. Is, which honestly is what is what I was really amused about is his, his personal assets. And, um, there is someone trying to have him removed as chairman of the board uh, in his organization, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because he keeps bringing negativity, negative light to, um, Facebook as a whole. And so they want to get rid of him as the chairman of the board. Good. Well, he should. I mean, he's made enough money. He should just fucking disappear. Facebook probably eventually should just disappear. It should turn into um, what was the old one before Facebook that you had music and all MySpace? that stuff on it? Was it MySpace? 
Was it MySpace? I don't know. Maybe. It might have been MySpace. <laughs> yeah, MySpace, good old MySpace. I was, so, I was beyond that MySpace thing. Like, I was too old for MySpace, but, you know, like, I, I don't know. I just, I had a baby at that time, so I didn't do the that, whole MySpace thing. I never had one. You didn't want to post pictures of your baby up all over the place? No, I was busy being a mom. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Right. Um. There's there's a lot of women that if they would have been better moms wouldn't have the millennial crisis we have right fucking now. That's a whole nother story. Mm-hmm. And I can mm-hmm. say that because I don't have kids, so I can right. be like, you fucked up. Right. And I'll let you get I look, I do have kids, and I tell people all the time they fucked up. Yeah, kids. but you got a good kid. <laughs> there's a lot of fucked up kids out there. Right. Um, but that again is parenting. Not, you know, not an it's asshole. obvious. All right, so let's get into some. Now, we missed last week, so we didn't get to talk about a couple of these topics. We're not going to, like, sit on them very long, but I do want to bring it up because I, th- it's just fucking ridiculous what's gone down over the past couple of weeks. I mean, I feel like that every week it can't get any more fucked up, and it just doesn't cease to amaze me. Every fucking week there's some other new scandal that's like, are, are you fucking serious? Really? We're wasting our time with this nonsense? So... um. The whole Trump-Putin meeting, there was all kinds of scandal around it. Do you, I mean, last week, I know you heard how Trump was a traitor and he was kissing Putin's ass and, you know. um, They brought, or they were talking about, the Democrats were talking about impeachment because of it. And I saw a meme out there that had, like, every president that met with Putin. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, like, wait, almost wait, wait, every wait, wait. president. Uh, the opposing team sold them uranium. <laughs> like, I don't know how else you can Hello? go. <laughs> right? Lots and, of alert- lots of it, too. And Putin, all Putin did was fucking uh, uh, come in and talk to the president. He... It's not like he bought anything. It's not like we sold him anything. The other thing, too. Shit, what was I going to say? Um, the other thing. Oh, they were they were asking. They were demanding to know what they talked about behind closed doors. I was just going to ask you what you thought about that. About them almost, uh, you know, saying that they were going to go after the interpreters. And get them that they're they were gonna make them tell them exactly what they were saying. What I think about it. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to know what was in the emails uh, that were lost, and I want to know what Clinton talked about with that fucking chick on the airplane. There's a lot of shit that I want to know. A lot of shit that I want to know. <laughs> so I mean. How does it feel to want? Right. That's how I feel. How does it feel to want? Like, <laughs> here's a, you know, I don't know, whatever. I can only imagine that they're probably talking about presidential things because that's what presidents do is they talk about presidential things behind closed doors. Unless they're talking about grabbing pussies. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Well, if it was Clinton, he was probably talking about grabbing pussy. I mean, it could be that they were just whatever. They have a bromance brewing, like him and the Italian guy. Yeah, right. They could just well, be no. talking about whores and getting laid. Who knows? Regardless of what it was about, you don't have a right to try to intimidate and say you're going to go after the translator to disclose what went on. It went on behind closed doors for a reason. You know, I mean, it's not as though... Now, Putin has the power to do whatever the fuck he wants because he's a communist douchebag. I mean, I like Putin, don't get me wrong, but he's still a communist douchebag. But the president of the United States doesn't have the leeway to just go back and do whatever the fuck he wants, especially with the fucking Democrats out there fighting him. If he says the sky's fucking blue, they'll say, no, it's not. It's black, you know, or it's red or fucking purple. Who the fuck cares? But you understand my point. He just is... I don't think they have a right to demand anything. If they're having a conversation and they're trying to work out deals and they don't want the 
the biased media involved, I don't blame him one bit. Look, Again, Putin, it doesn't matter for everything. him and his people. You can demand anything you want. I right. Mean, I think they have the right to demand whatever the fuck they want to. It's part of free speech. Doesn't mean you're going to get it. Right. I mean, good luck. Let us know how well, it works out for you. I, it's just the fact that they f- are so emboldened, and by they I mean the left, that every fucking thing they do is so, like, anti... There, there is absolutely zero thought of unification in any one of their fucking brains. They don't want to be unified. They don't want to grow together as a nation. They don't want to do anything beneficial right now except for attack Trump at every possible angle they can. Well, they were, there was an article, I think, that is in our lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Or maybe it was something else that I was reading. In any case, it, it, it essentially said they don't care about America or the American Mm-mm. people anymore. I mean, they have lost interest on um, all of the policies as far as, uh, like, jobs. And they've lost interest on... Um, homeless or the poor or the decreasing middle class or they've lost interest on all of those and that's why they're so stuck on the (laughs) bless you sorry thank you they're so stuck on on this open border thing because they've lost interest in the american people in america as a whole they are stuck on these foreigners because they feel like that's where the money shot is. That's where their voter base is coming from. <laughs> of course. And look at California. I mean, they've already put in place that um, the illegal aliens can vote, which yeah. has got to be somewhere against the Constitution. I cannot fathom that other people around the world can influence our elections. But it's- It's not their fault that they're from around the world. They want to be American. So you got to let them vote. I mean, no shit. At least play American. American was fucking amazing. But, like, (laughs) I'm just saying. (laughs) Like, uh, I feel blessed that I'm an American. And on the other hand, I think that uh, there needs to, you know, the American voting system needs to be based on American votes, not, you know, Mexican votes or Venezuelan votes. I agree 100%. You know that. It's, but you're right. I mean, it's ridiculous that Mexicans can vote in California for the whoever. That, but that's the Democrats' voter base. <laughs> it's a lot of the Democrats' voter base. Right. It's all fucking ridiculous. It's like we're in a bad fucking game show or something it's it's ridiculous what has become acceptable and this is just another instance with this whole trump putin meeting and how they turned it into him being treasonous and he should be impeached because he met with them and you know everything to the extreme coming from people who have no love of their country or no intention of wanting to make it better they just want to shut you up and make you you know bow down or or not say anything to their way of thinking and that that's easily shown because we're going to jump over to the whoopee thing the because that there you go that's a prime example of how they want you to just shut up and go away if you don't agree with their point of view whoopee goldberg again we weren't here last week this is from the week before but whoopee goldberg um basically went off on janine Hero, the one that does, you see her, she's on Facebook with little clips and everything. Mm -hmm. She's a judge. I I don't know if she has a TV show or something, I guess. I think she has not a TV show, but like a newsreel. Okay. So she went on The View. And if you were under a rock last week, you missed this. But yeah, she went on The View and Whoopi Goldberg couldn't handle her. Couldn't handle reality, I think, is how I took it. 
and shut down the filming and told her to get the fuck out. So then when she was off set and she's walking out of the building, she's trying to talk some sense into her. Just, you know, like, I'm sorry it went down. Just be polite, professional individual. Whoopi's like, get the fuck out of my building, spitting while she's yelling at her. I mean, this woman should not be hosting a show like this. It's obvious that she's biased and a fucking cunt bag. But what happened is they had started to have a conversation. And it was basically she was there to sell a book, right? Because she wrote a book. Right. Well, they told and, her. They told her that that's what they that that's what they were going to bring her on for. Right to, to to sell a book, and then they started turning it into a Trump bashing experience. And she came back. You know, she's like, "I'm I'm here to talk about my book." But before that, when she was talking, she kind of took a shot at the liberals, which of course, if you if you are familiar with her, she's a conservative woman who takes a shot at the idiocy that is the liberal party so she comes out and she's like lady justice is supposed to be blind and when you start creating fake investigations fake counterintelligence you saw it yourself with peter stork who comes out and basically says he hates the president and he's going to take care of everything um then they go to a judge and get a warrant that's a problem for me and it should be a problem at that point there was some crosstalk And she says, look, I've been a judge. I've signed those things. The warrant was based on false documents by an opposing candidate in a national presidential race. This is what happens in third world countries. So that's when Whoopi started getting kind of pissed off, right? Mm -hmm. She started copping an attitude. So then she says, uh, she said, I'm trying to find exactly what set her off because she totally got triggered and it was fucking hilarious. And I don't know about you, but all these fucking stories, all these times when you see these liberals going off, that fucking makes me laugh my ass off. I love when they get triggered. Like it's it, that they have that much of a fucking mental breakdown that they're that unstable should tell them something. <coughs> I find it fucking amusing. Is that wrong? <laughs> Okay, I'm just checking. Because I'm supposed to be the nice one. So if that's wrong, you got to let me know. (laughs) Babe, I support you. (laughs) You do you. I'll support you no matter what. If you want to find it funny, that's good by me. It was, yeah, it is. It's very amusing. But she just was, you know, she kind of put her in her place. And for Whoopi to act like that, tell her to get the fuck out of the building and all that stuff. If you wait, watch wait, the wait, view, wait. she got fucking so idiot. upset that she stopped production and kicked her out because they can't have a conversation anytime that they're met with opposing actual information, factual information. Mm-hmm. They just can't handle it and don't know what to do, so that they like run from the situation. I don't know. I think it's it was um pretty funny. Well, she left Hannity. She went on Hannity right after, and she she basically said this: uh, "Forget about what she did to me on set, which was horrific in itself. But the treatment by Whoopi Goldberg is typical typical of what is going on in this country. Right. The left they they invite you on to talk, then they won't let you talk. Then they throw you off the show, and then they throw you out of the building. And here's the problem: the problem is once one starts doing it, the rest of them are going to start doing it." And they don't even see the hypocrisy of doing it, of how they're limiting your speech, your free speech, because they don't like your opinion. That's that's fucking fascist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I just find it all, you just have to take a certain... You have to take a certain stance because if, especially if you're a conservative right now and you're a Trump supporter, you got a lot of people that are throwing a lot of shit at you. You just got to let it roll. It's not worth it. I mean, these, they're fucking idiots. <laughs> so but I, think what I let it roll. Is that we had an article that talked about, um, like that judge Janine was whining. 
Yeah, that's the headline. Fox's Janine Pirro whines Whoopi Goldberg treated her like a dog. Like, I don't think that's whining. I don't see her as a whiner. Damn right it's a big glass of wine. Just somebody said it was a big glass of wine. <laughs> and this came from so raw story, home, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but that's my motto. All right, I'm going to try to post some of these articles and see if it fucks with me again like it did before. So, a couple other political things. Um, and this is interesting from two aspects, because I kind of see their point on the one hand, but on the other hand, they're, I, I don't have very much respect for them. The um, AL, ACLU. Okay. American Civil Liberties Union. Now, I don't know if you remember or have seen it, but I know when I've been to a couple different anti-Trump rallies, Mm -hmm. I've seen Antifa there and I've seen the green hat people there. Like they've got these fluorescent green baseball caps. Okay. Yeah. They've got fluorescent green baseball caps, and they're always with these protesters, and they're with Antifa. They're the ACLU. They're documenting everything. They're covering, you know, they're they're not on the side of conservatives, obviously. They're there on the side of the protesters and the antagonistic protesters that is Antifa. That's who they're there for. So I don't give them much credit. But um, Amazon is trying to sell recognition, facial recognition technology to law enforcement. And the American Civil Liberties Union doesn't think it's a good idea. Today, they provided some seemingly compelling evidence by using Amazon's own tool to compare 2,500 criminals mugshots to members of Congress. 28 different members of Congress looked like people who had been arrested. (laughs) Yeah, so what basically what they were claiming was that um, that Amazon only uses like 80%, it said it like an 80% recognition, and they were saying that, oh, yeah, well, you need to turn it up to 95%, and that's what we recommend, but then the ACLU is saying, no. So, no, no, they didn't recommend that, and uh, 80% is good for, like, a fucking hot dog, but 80% is not good enough to use for facial recognition, especially for law enforcement. Yeah. And Amazon is saying that they, you know... They're, they would teach it to be used correctly, that the ACLU couldn't have been using it correctly. So the ACU pointed out that Amazon seems to have misled or refuses to acknowledge the broader point. Facial recognition technology in the hands of governments is primed for abuse and raises significant civil rights concerns. It could allow and in some cases has already enabled police to determine who attends protests, ICE to continuously monitor immigrants, and cities to routinely track their own residents, whether they have reason to suspect criminal activity or not. Changing the threshold from 80 to 95 percent doesn't change that. In fact, it could exacerbate it. So I almost see, I see the point of what the ACLU is saying, definitely, because that to me is like Big Brother from 1984. But I also know that they're coming from a more nefarious position where they're worried about their people being, their people that are in these protests or, you know, whatever, the whole Soros little fucking inner web of, douchebags that they'll be able to be recognized and recognized in multiple places because I don't have a problem with ICE monitoring immigrants I don't have a problem with the police finding people at protests who are violent or criminals or whatever I do have a problem with cities just randomly modern monitoring their people but I've seen and I'm sure you've seen 
uh, documentation on how many times a day you are filmed unknowingly if you live like in an urban area or even not if you live in an urban area. If you go to a convenience store, if you go to any kind of bank, uh, grocery store, fast food, any place you go, you're guaranteed that cameras will be on you at some point throughout the day unless you're in the middle of the fucking woods. And then you probably have trail cams. I am not okay, I think, with any of it. <laughs> Are you, you're thinking while you're talking, aren't you? <laughs> um, I'm pouring a drink. Look, because I know how the government works. Like, it, we don't, they don't stop at, like, just people at the border. They don't stop at just the shit at fucking places. They, they just don't. They don't. Look at the American Patriot Act. Right. You, you're you never going to get... Um, you're, it's never going to stop at one place. And so, you know, if you okay it for one particular reason... You know damn well in the fucking fine print, it's going to be like, well, we can use it whenever the fuck we want to. I am down for less government. Less government. I understand. That's what I'm about. So, put up the fucking wall. Let the people at the border do their job. Let's not have facial recognition. How about you put California in check or kick them fuck out? Like... Either do your job or or get out. Right. Let them let them you know recede from the rest of us and and go or get, go. The, fuck get the fuck out. <laughs> if you can't, I'm good with that. Together, if you're not out. part of if you're not part of the Americans, if you're not part of the states, if you're gonna do shit that goes against the rest of America, then get the fuck out. We don't need you and we don't want you. We'll put the fucking exactly. we'll put the wall right around you too. Good. Let us know how that works out for you. And we'll do fine without you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if we allotted like a couple states to them, like California, Oregon, and Washington, or something. No, we can't give them the whole West Coast. But give them a state. Give them Oregon. Nah, give them California. That's what? fucked too. Give them them both. Right, and just let them all go there. And no. see how that works out for them. I guarantee I you they'd be bankrupt and crying broke and asking us for money real fucking quick. I don't want them at all. But if we have to. Purge, I mean, dude. I'm telling point, you we're so overdue for a purge. Yeah. Can I say that? I can say that, right? You already did, so. Yeah. Cheers. Purge. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I just... I don't know, dude. I don't have time for the the bullshit that is the fucking liberal mindset. And I don't understand how if you're... I, I really think it's a fucking mental disease. I really do. Because I don't know if you're a sound mind how you can come up with some of the bullshit and peddle it that they do. Unless you're just a complete bullshitter. Which I mean, is probably part of the case. It could be genetics. It could be. It could, why not? There's a lot of things that are genetics. Yeah, it could be. I'll tell you what, Sierra and I will open a lab and we'll study liberalism as a genetic Can I, case. can I pick your, 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 uh, what do you call it? Um, your fucking things, dude. Your, um, can you pick my victims, things? but not victims. I didn't want to use the word victim, but you know what I mean? My lab rats? Yeah, your lab rats. Can you pick my lab rats? Oh, is that you're trying to you're trying to decide who is who I get to study? Well, can I throw some your way anyway? I mean, are they <laughs> going to be alive or dead? Well, you just need their brain, right? Mm, uh, any part really? It's just genes. Oh, okay, cool. Maybe we'll just go cut around, start cutting off fingers or something. <laughs> Consider this a warning. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right, anyways, what's our next subject? Okay, next subject. Um before we get ourselves in some kind in of trouble, trouble right? here. <laughs> this will be evidence at our court hearing. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the reality funny, check show. <laughs> Okay, now this is fucked up. And another reason why I don't like this fucker, and I said he should have already died from brain cancer. I know I shouldn't say that either. I don't give a fuck. Judicial Watch obtains IRS documents revealing McCain subcommittee. It must be John McCain. <laughs> exactly. McCain subcommittee staff director urged IRS to engage in financial financially ruinous targeting. We fucking knew this because we've done articles about this. That we knew that, I mean, and, you know, that fucking cunt bag, um, Loretta Lynch, or no, Lois Lerner, the other cunt bag, um, she came out and said, I mean, this is already documented, she's come out and said, yeah, we were targeting, or not targeting, I don't think is the word she used, but she said that there was a issue with 501 C4s going through um, for conservative based organizations. And this was, you know, back when obviously when Obama was in office. But now there is a link between McCain being on the other fucking side and everybody else conspiring to put people in financial ruin who were on the opposing political side. And nothing is fucking happening to him. This was from June 21st, this article. And still, nothing is fucking happening to him. I, They've got... Are you surprised? Like, uh, I'm disgusted. They're trying to go after Trump for made-up bullshit, yet you've got concrete fucking evidence on people that have done... Uh, people who... With wrongdoing, Clinton, you know she fucking did shit she shouldn't have fucking done. She has not been held accountable in any way shape or form you've got Lois Lerner you've got Loretta Lynch you've got Eric Holder you've got fucking Obama you've got numerous fucking high profile political people that have Teflon on them because not well, one I fucking mean, thing has happened to them look at look I, we're in the middle of a an FBI probe right I mean Look at how, what a fucking circus that shit is. Not only that, I just saw where Bernie Sanders' advisor is assisting special counsel investigation into Manafort. Hmm. I did not know that. That I, is there not a decent pool of fucking people that you can employ? To do this that aren't related to one camp versus another camp? I mean, aren't there any people that actually do their job as they should in an unbiased fucking nature to come to the actual bottom of things? I mean, you've got No, that's everybody... reserved for the rest of the American people, certainly not politicians. It's, yeah. These special counsels are bullshit. They're a waste of our fucking money. I mean, this whole this whole congressional hearing is a waste of our money. Oh yeah. The, the whole thing. I mean, you've got you've got, and we talked about it. Was it last week or the week prior? We talked about, uh, I think, about how um, some of the Democratic Party were like. Oh well, this is a waste of our time. We've got bigger things going on than than to have this congressional hearing about the FBI and this special counsel. Yeah, and that now, was just the other week. Yeah, and and they were just they they were freaking out because they were essentially saying that it was a waste of everyone's time. Which part of me agrees, like it's a a waste of everyone's time. Because nothing is going to be done about it. And that's mm -hmm. how I feel. You, you, you already know it's not. I mean, they'll put on a pony show, a dog and pony show, and they'll drill the shit out of, you know, whomever is fucking on the stand at the moment. But, you know, FBI, what is his name, Stoic or whatever, Stock or I don't even fucking know his last name, S-T-O, whatever. C-O-C-K or whatever, yeah. But in any case, they'll drill the fuck out of him. They'll make snarky remarks about him and Lisa or Tina or whatever the fuck her name is. You know, the bitch on the side, right? And how right. they're fucking on the side and 
they'll make how do you look your wife how do you look at your voice after you honestly that was my favorite part was like that was awesome (laughs) how can you lie to your wife look at your wife like that and right but the bottom line is that we all know as american citizens that nothing will come of this and that's sad it is sad because because we accept it it is right because we do accept and at the end of the day we know that nothing's going to happen we know that uh it's a waste of our money everybody's sitting around and you got the left you know praising this guy for his whatever service and and, you know the republicans are attacking him and all kinds of weird shit like that and then you get the right who are you know no offense I, and i i really i thought the i thought the whole like wife thing was funny but it has nothing to do with this right so stop wasting your fucking time about it let's get down to the facts and let's get some results because otherwise you're, it's just a waste of our time and money right my money I, your money i agree money. I agree. Okay. So, again, McCain needs to just fucking die. <laughs> to, to, to roll back up into that. Um, so, the, the way this headline reads, it's a shot at Trump. Surprise, surprise. It's out of NBC. Coca-Cola is about to cost you more, thanks to Trump tariffs. It's all Trump's fault. It's not Coke's fault because they're raising the prices because they're greedy and they want to make more money. It's Trump's fault. So this article reads, have a Coke and a frown. Not have a Coke and a smile. President Donald Trump and millions of others are about to find out that their soft drink of choice is going to become a little bit more expensive thanks in part to the commander-in-chief's tariffs. Now, when they were defending the tariffs, uh, there was a gentleman, Wilbur Ross, who predicted no major impact on consumers from steel and aluminum tariffs. Ross held up a can of Coke while defending the use of tariffs. Here's a can of Coke. Coke has three cents of aluminum in it. If that goes up 10%, that's three tenths of a percent. I just paid $1.49 for this can of Coke. It doesn't mean anything, so all the hysteria has a lot to do about nothing. That example is pretty simple, right? So Coca-Cola comes back and corrects the record. While the cost increase of one single can may seem uh, neglo- ne- how do you say that word? Neligi- ne- negligible, negligible. There you go, negligible. Sorry, I was having a brain fart. Um, it adds up to over. The tremendous volume a company like Coca-Cola sees. Looking at the malted beverage sector, according to the Beer Institute, more than 5,000 active breweries in the U.S. last year bought 36 billion aluminum cans and bottles, while the aluminum being the largest single input cost for can. But still, they're still making money off of it. They're still making mad money. The tariffs really, whether, are they having an impact? Yeah, but also, so is the price also, is the price of employment. So would people be willing to pay more money because the employment sector needs to get paid more for the job they're doing? I don't know. I'm pissed I got to pay a fucking sugar tax in Philadelphia if I want to get a can of Coke. Dude, it's ridiculous. That sugar tax is more than regular tax. It's like 20 fucking percent. You know what my answer is? Don't drink it. Drink water. I knew you were going to say that. Water's better for you, too. Okay. But that's what there is another article in here that's saying that, hey, Trump's working on, uh, he's actually doing something good. He's, he's making people healthier because it's going to make it more, to cost more to drink soda. <laughs> So he's making he's making the country healthier. Somebody posted it or tweeted, excuse me, Trump wins again, less coke consumption, the healthier America will be. President Trump equals making America healthy again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a problem with this tariffs. It's not really affected me in any way, shape, or form. So I drink soda so little. Yeah. So I don't really care and honestly when I go to pay my tab at the restaurant or whatever 
I don't buy, it's not like I buy soda at, at home, like for home or anything. If I go to a restaurant, I might have a Coke, but. Yeah. I, whatever. So Iran's been kicking up their heels a little bit. Well, when Donald. Isn't, when isn't Iran kicking up their heels? Well, yeah, exactly. They were a lot more docile before we gave them all that money, but that's a whole other story. Um, Donald Trump asked to meet with Iran's president eight times in aid claims and Iranian aid claims, which, okay, so he's trying to open a line of communication. If anybody's got a problem with that, I don't fucking understand what it is. Isn't that what world leaders are supposed to do? Aren't we supposed to try to open a line of communication? Aren't we supposed to have some kind of discourse and try to remain somewhat amicable of each other, like try to kind of, you know, at least keep an even keel. Doesn't that make more sense than not talking to each other and deciding to drop a fucking bomb? Sorry, it might just be me, but I would think open discourse is good. So anyway, Trump did try, tried to initiate uh, during the UN General, General Assembly in New York last year, but they refused. So now... It says, there was a quote in here, and I wrote something on the side. um, Iranian leaders remain deeply distrustful of Western nations, particularly the U.S. Tensions have increased since Trump's election, especially following the withdrawal from the JPAC and the president's decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israeli's capital. Um, So I put, no engagement, but we kill you. So... (laughs) So the Iranian general warns Trump, war will destroy all you possess. They're getting a little ballsy over there in Iran. We kill you. So what they're talking that, shit, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yo, because, wait, there's a comedian, and I know that one of our members or our listeners has got to know who this comedian is, and he's got like. He's the one with the. We kill you. Yeah. I kill you. Yeah. Who is that guy? Oh, uh, what's his name? Um. <laughs> stop. I kill you. I can't remember his name either. I can't remember his name. He can fucking face, but I. I am. I can so see bad his face. Me. Yeah. Yo, easy. My dog is freaking out. Sorry. Why is your dog freaking out? He, he's in like I kill you. <laughs> I don't know. I guess. I got. I, I stop, I kill you. Oh, I Josh you. knows. Jeff Dunham. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Stop, I kill you. Stop it. My dog is going fucking crazy. I no, he's my saying hi. Throat. Say hi. Oh. All right. He's saying hi. I have to put him away. <laughs> I'll be right back. That's it. Stop, I kill you. I'll be right back. So talk. Okay. Talk. Oh, God. Right back. Why you got to put me on the screen here? Uh, I am no good at this single user type deal, especially when I'm running a show. Um, so maybe we can talk about some science shit because, yeah, I don't know. I don't even have the app up because my partner usually does this shit for me and I'm such a loser. I was gonna okay. talk about I was gonna talk about science, but um, I'm back. but I didn't get the app up in time because I haven't had the app up. Are My you, hair look right. What are you doing? I don't Can't know, but now say. your hair is all fucked up. Is it all fucked up? Yeah, the top. Fix it. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Ah! Oh, you had it. All right, that's better. All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're... All right. Fuck oh, it. Well, look, we're just gonna go with it, okay? We'll go with that. Fuck it. I need a shot. I think. Sure. Me too. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Because all right. So for the audience, I can see D, but D can't see me. So it's 
even worse, like she's giant on my screen. <laughs> and I can't see. I can't even see me. I'm like this big. She's huge on my screen. So <laughs> Sorry. Her looking at me through her screen, like, oh god, my hair is all right. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just fucking weird. I'm just saying. Sorry. <laughs> uh, not to mention that I, um, I'm almost a bottle in, almost. You're what? Almost the whole bottle in. We're almost down to nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh, God. What? 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 We were, we were, we got stuck. We got stuck. Oh. Okay. All right. So, All right, back to on. actual real news, I guess, maybe? Yes. Try that? Do okay. Uh -huh. All right. I think we should do a shot first, though, uh -huh. or drink, because you're uh -huh. not doing shots. Because uh -huh. I had, obviously, two more shots than uh -huh. I thought I had in there, which is a bonus. Go for me. All right. So, we did Iran. Okay. We have other, we have additional snowflake bullshit. Snowflake oh. bullshit alert. Like, we should have sound effects. Subject. Like, bullshit alert, bullshit alert, bullshit alert. I'll okay. I'll on those sound effects. I can't even yeah. fucking work this shit. So, <laughs> sound effects are not in, they're not in not the in our deal. cards. They're not going to happen. Damn it. Josh, can you help out with that? <laughs> All right, hold on, shot. All right, do it. Quick, quick. Okay. All right, great. All right, so a federal judge uh -huh. tosses out climate change lawsuit. Woo woo! Finally. Now, kudos to New York, because you are some sleazy motherfuckers. They tried to sue BP, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, Exxon Mobil, and Royal Dutch Shell. For global warming. Okay. So the court came back with the immense and complicated problem of global warming requires a comprehensive solution that weighs the global benefits of fossil fuel use with the gravity of the impending harm. To litigate such an action for inquiries from foreign greenhouse emissions in federal court would severely infringe upon the foreign policy decisions that are squarely within the purview of the political branches of the U.S. government. The city earlier this year sued the five world biggest oil companies. They lost. But nice try. Kudos to New York for effort. I bet you de Blasio had something to do with that. That crooked son of a bitch. Just saying. No comment. Oh, no, I agree with you. <laughs> well, dude, I mean, how many articles do we have to do on his fucking re re crookedness? Yeah. So the wife deal, like, wasn't that his wife was running some shit and getting a bunch of money and because she was she de Blasio, was yeah. She's, yep. She's she's a black lady, right? Yep. And he was marching through the streets with her with the Black Lives Matter. Who happened to be chowding kill the pigs at the time. Yep. He's a class act. Yeah. Right. He also, I believe, was one of a couple a couple representatives city let's see, they're a sanctuary city, are they not? I think they're a sanctuary city. Um, he also sued the government for some bullshit. He got on a lawsuit with that Corey douchebag guy. Uh, what the fuck's his last name? You know who I mean? The guy that, that's like runs his mouth. Um, black guy. Light skinned black guy. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Him. The younger, the younger guy is like in his early 30s. Yeah. Cory Booker. I think Booker's his last name. So, yeah, de Blasio is a piece of shit. I mean, this is just another proof. They tried to fucking sue. They're trying to sue oil companies for global warming. Go fuck yourself. Try to get your money somewhere else. Why don't you go hit up all them fucking illegals that are making money and not paying any taxes? 
All right. So um, this is interesting news. Top voting machine vendor admits it installed remote access software on systems sold to states. Remote access software and modems on election equipment is the worst decision for security, short of leaving ballot boxes on a Moscow street corner. Well, we knew there was a problem, and why does this seem to escape people all the time? Do they not remember how we were yelling about the voting booths back in, what was it, Obama's second president, second run for president? Because, or it was the interim, I think it was the interim between Obama's win the second time and Trump. No, I think it was it the interim was, elections in it between was, no, there. It, was, it where was his second term. It was during his second term, it yeah. It was during his second term. I mean, we yeah. were, how long have we been doing this? Six years this year? Yeah, it's a while. So, so but, yeah, but yeah, it was, it was where the, the guy was, went in, huh? Yeah. It was the second term, his second win. The guy who who was from, uh, there was one in North Carolina and there was one in Chicago, I believe, who went in to vote for himself and he was a Republican and it kept changing his vote. To Democrat. To Democrat. Yeah, All of documented. He, he took a um, video and he was pushing Republican and it would light up Democrat every time. Mm-hmm. So who's been crying about problems with voting machines that got ignored? And we talked about it, too. We talked about, okay, I bet you any amount of money this will get ignored till the next election. And then depending on who wins, it'll either be ignored again or it'll be the forefront. That's exactly what fucking happened. Trump wins. All of a sudden, oh, my God, there's a problem with voting machines. And we heard the story. We heard the whole backstory of how there's no way that these voting machines were able to be impregnated, for lack of a better word, because they were independent and they weren't supposed to be linked to the Internet. They weren't supposed to be linked to anything to avoid the ability for somebody to come in and hack it. Obviously, that's not the case, according to the biggest fucking voting machine vendor in the fucking country. Surprise, surprise. But I guarantee you it is not just Trump that has, and I'm not even sure that he benefited from it. I think it was probably still the left-leaning, I think Clinton showed, well, we did the recount. Remember the recount for the fucking states? What state was it? I know Pennsylvania was trying, was it Ohio? Whatever state where that bitch came back and demanded a recount, and when they came back with the recount, Clinton lost votes. Trump right. game votes. It, Do you remember what was, state that was? I thought it was PA. Was it PA? I thought PA was going to go for it, but once the first one came through, everybody... It was funny because, like, you know, if you were watching the election, it was, the like, the last three states, and, you know, you started seeing the breakdown, which was fucking hilarious. And there's an awesome compilation searching on fucking YouTube. It's fucking hilarious of all the people all upset when they find out Hillary actually loses. But they have the different maps of the states. And they're talking like it was Florida, Pennsylvania, Ohio. There's a a bunch of states. um, And when they would turn and come out with the numbers, then, you know, it would get chalked up to Trump. So it was like the last three states are the ones that actually demanded recounts. And I know Pennsylvania was one. Uh, I think Ohio was another one. And I can't remember what the third one was. But once they did the – Florida, it might have been. Um, so, you know, everybody that was on the left was coming back and saying, yeah, we want to recount. Yeah, we want to recount. And then we talked about the actual cost, that it was going to cost these people money to get the recount. And the one woman did it anyway for her, her area and, um, ended up that Clinton got less votes. Trump got more votes. And the other two States backed off after that. They weren't going to put out the money. They weren't going to run the whole thing because they were like, yeah, well, that's probably the same thing that's going to happen. So the corruption that they ended up identifying was on the left. Well, this whole thing with the collusion with Russia and all that stuff, are they trying to say that Russia infiltrated the voting system 
no. and change votes? Is that no, what they're? The I mean, what is the fucking end result of point of they're trying to say with this whole Russia collusion bullshit? Collusion they bullshit. Already came out to say that Russia hacked it, but they didn't do anything. I fuck. I just had this argument with someone on someone else's post. But basically, the special counsel came out and essentially said that, yes, there's evidence that Russia was snooping, but there's no evidence that they changed the results of anything. Okay, so why are we still fucking talking about it? We're still talking about it because they're dying. The left is dying to make sure that it stays as a topic of conversation that Russia hacked our... Oh, that's a sad sight. It's very sad. Everybody take a minute. Moment of silence. <laughs> uh, no, so they're hoping that they can keep this at the forefront, that Russia hacked and Russia's the bad guy and now we're colluding with Russia because now we're meeting with Russia and Russia is the bad guy. But I just read an article of someone, and I can't remember who because it's not one of the articles in our little thing, so I can't reference it. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. But they're saying, uh, someone came out and said that it was the CIA who truly hacked and um, no. like the Russians. <sighs> and honestly, that's so much more believable to me than... Right? <laughs> Then it would be that the Russians hacked, and I'll tell you why, because if Russia themselves paid genius hackers to, oh look, my kitty is behind me, um, if Russia hackers paid, uh, if Russia normally, if, if they paid hackers to get on there, they wouldn't leave in trail. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that Russia hacked us, especially if they didn't fucking do anything, especially if they didn't do anything. Right. If they just went into Snoop and they didn't change anything, then what? And don't forget, it was fucking Obama that said, well, just let me win this election and then we'll talk. When he thought he had a cold, when he had a hot mic talking to Putin and, you know, right. it was... Or, or, wait a minute. He also came out and said that he knew about it, but he didn't do anything or think anything because he thought Clinton was already going to fucking win. I know we've, we've had documentation of that. I know we went through articles about that. Where he basically came out and said, yeah, well, we kind of knew that they were, you know, showing up and sticking around. Just like fucking China has. Just like North Korea. South, because they were, you know, hacking into Amazon. Hacking into Apple. Hacking into 50 million different fucking things. I mean, they hacked into the fucking movie. Um, MGM or, or one of those big. Remember, I mean, it was almost as though every week, every other week, we were doing an article on what some foreign country hacked into. Right. Right? So, it's astonishing to me that we are still talking about Russia and collusion and interference in our elections and Trump is treasonous. And the, the thing that I, that really makes me laugh my ass off is the fact that Trump was over there and he said, it pisses me off to a certain extent too, because he said he didn't have much faith in the intelligence agencies. So he didn't really know if Russia was guilty or not of it, but he wasn't going to harp on it when he was having his meeting with Putin. But I agree 100%. Look at who was fucking in charge of the intelligence agencies. They've been fucked up for a while. And there's moles. Like that stork guy. This dork. However you say his fucking name. So. Right? So there's a Z in there somewhere which didn't even fucking belong. But anyway. Um, if you're going to. If you're going to bring up the fact that you really think. 
there's collusion. Let me just tell, like, Russia did not coerce me to vote for Trump. I voted for Trump because I was tired of the bullshit that we saw for eight years with Obama. That's why a lot of people voted for Trump. I'm sorry that the liberals can't get over the fact that they had a fucked up administration that pushed people to go for the other extreme fucked up. I mean, by no means is Trump an ideal political candidate, but that's what we fucking need is somebody to go in there, shake the shit up, who doesn't play... That's why I what? voted for Trump, because I didn't want exactly. a politician. I didn't want a career exactly. politi- politician, because they're all fucking assholes. Exactly. About <laughs> exactly. All, that's the whole point. That is the whole reason that I voted for Trump. I don't care. I mean, look, I don't care if he talks about grabbing pussies. We all know we talk about some shit behind closed doors, and I'm all right with the fact that Trump is human. I'm okay Exa- with- it, it almost makes him more real and believable. Sure. Yeah, right. I mean, the whole... I like the fact that he's not politically correct. I'm not politically correct. And time out. Wait a minute. Let's sure. let's go back and revisit Trump from fucking the 80s. Trump from the 90s. Everybody knew Trump to be a playboy. Everybody knew Trump to be... He fucking broke up with his first wife over a fucking text message or some shit. Like... You know, Trump was known as this kind of philanthropist kind of, you know, playing it. Like, all these bimbos that are coming out of the woodwork right now, who the fuck cares? Was any of it during his presidency when he should have been concentrating on his job as president of the United fucking States? Oh, no. Like then the I don't give a fuck. dick sucked in the Oval Office. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, no, no. We're not talking about Clinton. He was oh. a good guy. He did a lot of good right. things. Don't Don't pick on Clinton. Right. We're talking about the racist pig, treasonous right. bastard. Sure. That yeah. that fucked a whore 20 that, years ago, right? Like, right. okay. He tried to pay her off so she'd shut the fuck up about it, which is more than any other fucking man would do for a skank like that. Her husband's fucking suing her, by the way, for custody of their kid because he says she's a bad influence. Go figure. <laughs> you don't say. I know, right? All right, that's it. That's it? That was it? That's it. Oh, Jesus. Now what? I think it's good. Huh? It's good that it's Whew. good? Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it was fucking horrible, dude. It was not as good as that watermelon fucking margarita, which was awesome. By the way, we went out for margaritas. We were a couple of days off of the uh, margarita day, which was Tuesday. Whew, it's hot. Um, but, dude, those margaritas were the best fucking margaritas ever. I was so drunk. You were buzzed. <laughs> you were buzzed. But we had, um, I had a watermelon margarita. What kind did you have? Blueberry pineapple. Yeah, that was fucking, it was pretty. It was very pretty. Amazing. Very pretty. Hey, can we make margaritas and take them down the river? Oh, on Sunday? Yeah. When we go kayaking? We're going kayaking on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll, I'll, um, I have oh, a shit ton of tequila. Awesome. We're good. Yeah, we're going to have fun. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so moving on. Let's move on to some and let let's let's do some sciencey shit. And after we do some sciencey shit, then we'll do some fun shit. We're just gonna skip the international shit because although we do have some good military shit, but and miscellaneous news, but we don't have that much time. So what shit do you want to do? Um, we could do sciencey shit. Can you just read me the headline of the article? Yes. All right. All right, uh, scientists figure out why our mouths heal so freakishly fast. All right, so what basically what they did was they, they got like 20 different people and they put cuts in their mouths and then on their arms, like tiny, tiny okay. cuts. Okay, right. Um, to find out why the inside of your mouth heals better. And for those of you don't, who don't know, eat all of our cells have like instructions attached 
And we can heal no matter where we are, right? But right. The mouth, the mouth, I guess, um, their cells, the, the cells inside the mouth have already had instructions to heal before anything ever happens. So you don't have to have those cells move to your arm in order to tell it to heal. You already have them in your mouth saying, make sure that this gets done ASAP. Oh, okay. So, like, when you burn your tongue, yes, it heals like within you know less than twenty four hours. Correct. That's because That's is because that because the of the concentration mouth, of cells? You know, it's because the cells in your mouth already have the instructions on how to heal your mouth. The cells so, in your arms don't have the instructions. They need to wait until the till new cells get there with the instructions on how to heal. So does that go back to our um, instinct, instinctual kind of, you know, you eat things that might not always, that might tear up your mouth, but for you to be able to survive, you need to eat things. So it's like, am I going too deep? <laughs> That's what she said. No, but. <laughs> I don't think she ever said that. <laughs> That's what he said. But, um. But do you think it's 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 like almost a a instinctual kind of or prehistoric you know beginning of man kind of aspect of the body makeup because of the dangers you know that are associated with I don't know I'm I'm no, just like think, totally kind of got a little this, buzz now I think maybe because I'm so going deep into this. It's okay. Uh, no, I think it's because it's the source of your sustainable life, right? So you need to eat in order to, or drink in order to live. If your right. mouth is fucked up, then you can't do that. So it's it's saying that this area is more important than your arm. This now, area... how long, what about your tongue piercing? Like, does that heal fast? And not even necessarily you, but you in general. Did I wonder if those heal? If I took out my tongue ring now, mm -hmm. like within a week it would be healed. Even really? Though, even though I've had my tongue ring for 20 years. Wow. They say basically, um, when I got my tongue ring, they said it will it will heal, but it'll never heal totally. Okay. All right. All right. So let's move on. Um, okay. Flesh-eating bacteria is back in the Gulf waters. Oh, yeah. So some guy, he was, like, older, in his 60s. Uh, he was waiting in the water, and he got this bacteria, uh, Vidlo, I think it's called. Vidlo something or other. Um, someone else just died in Florida not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they died from eating oysters. This guy died from being in the water with these uh, oysters, and he was waiting and had some cuts on his leg. But he died within, like, 24 to 36 hours of just being admitted into the hospital. So, so please, if you are you, down along the coast of Texas, sure, uh, it's yeah. the Gulf side, right? Uh, yeah, so for those of you who like to eat raw oysters, don't. Don't. Just don't. Just say no. Don't. Um, plus, ew, slimy, gross. Uh, <laughs> I'm not an oyster fan. Um, okay, so <clears throat> supermassive black hole shot a neutron straight at Earth. For the first time, we have optical signs to match a cosmic neutrino. Right. I really don't know what I just read. So, uh, all right. So we have gotten different types of rays from the um, from our atmosphere, right? And we're talking, or, or from space, or gamma like rays, gamma rays, UV or rays, right? So um, essentially, what they got was these particular rays from a black hole, and it matched with visual rays, and so. It's a phenomenon. It hasn't been happen. It hasn't been able to happen, but they also haven't been able to measure it until just recently. So that's why it's like a big deal. 
because they came up with this um, particular thing to, to measure it. And now we're getting stuff from black holes and black holes don't have any matter and they don't have any atoms. And so getting things from black holes is like a big deal because we don't really know anything about black holes except for they have nothing. They're, yeah. Okay. All right. It goes so on and on. So do we have to worry? It's like the earth going to blow up from ice whatever. And, and this thing in the Antarctic and how it measures and which device like caught this information first. And it, it's a long drawn out article. Mostly it's just saying that we've gotten these new waves from, uh, from space and they're now being measured from this awesome, cool device now. And Can it blow us up? That's all I want to know. No. Is it like Terminator shit? Like it's going to blow us up and we're going to be fucked? Okay, that, I just want to know. Just saying. Okay, so the next article, which I find interesting because Mother Nature is a fucking cuntbag. She's not a cuntbag. She's a bitch, though, and you don't want to fuck with her. And from what I understand, basically Yellowstone, like all of Yellowstone, could be a super volcano. Yeah. And they think it may have formed completely different than how we thought it did. Yeah, I, I mean, yes, all of Yellowstone has a massive volcano underneath of it. It could blow at any point. It could totally destroy most of the Earth. But there's also one in, like, New York. Nice, so go just fucking party like it's your last day. Because it, <laughs> it might honestly, be. Honestly, it's, our whole planet is built on magma. <laughs> Like, I don't know what to tell you. We're a ball We're of burning shit. At, right. right. We're all going to die at some point. What really upset me, I guess, was that I I have, I don't know, I like, I keep going down and then up and I have all these fucking people on my, um, on my Facebook <laughs> friends or whatever. And I swear to God. It just didn't sound right. I'm sorry. It just sorry. did. <laughs> Shut your fucking face, dude. I can't. I can't laugh while I'm talking. Stop. I can't watch you. Um, <laughs> shut up. Uh, stop it. This is what happens when you drink. And then when I drink. And we drink together and everything becomes sexual and funny. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> Anyways. I, I can't even remember what the fuck I was going <laughs> <laughs> Volcanoes oh, people, people on my Facebook feed were like, oh, there's this huge geyser, there's a fissure that opened up, and everybody was freaking the fuck out. I can't even I tell remember you that. how many fucking people shared this fake motherfucking news on my news feed. Mm -hmm. There was, they did this video of Yellowstone National Park and this fissure opening up in Yellowstone National Park. Yes. Right. I saw your park. post about that, yep. Uh-huh. You know what? You know where it's from? A motherfucking movie. <laughs> I see that movie. That video is from a movie. Oh Stop my god, no it. way. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dude. It wow. It was from like a, a San and it was some movie about the San Andreas Fault and the Rock was in it. Wow. It, it's not even Yellowstone. It's the San Andreas Fault. Wow. That is pictured in this video. Right. So in any case. Um, yeah, yes, there was a fissure that opened up. No, we're all not going to die today. But are. Yellowstone could blow at any minute. So, hey, fucking enjoy your life. No, but really, when it comes to, there's, a, we have another article about that that's regarding, and not about the volcano, but about the supermoon. And I saw oh, about a Mars. lot of people. Huh? About Mars. Yes. Yeah, I saw a lot Mars of people post going, that. A lot of people. That Mars is going to be as big as Earth. I mean, Mars is going to be moon. as big as the moon. No. If no. Mars is the same size as the moon, we are we're in fucked. big trouble. <laughs> we're in big trouble, and we're all going to die. <laughs> You're all going to die. <laughs> we're all going to die. 
Um, yeah, so, no. There's like, um, definitely no giant um, fucking Mars. The good thing about Mars tonight, if you can see it, but I can't because it's fucking raining, um, it's going to be big enough for the for you to recognize and for the eyes to see. But no. I saw it last night. It was pretty big and bright. Yeah. I saw it, like, down below Mont below the moon because the moon was gorgeous last night if you missed it and if you're somewhere tonight where you can see it and it's not cloudy go out and look at it it was fucking beautiful what i what i didn't realize it took me like years to actually understand but when it's rising just like when the sun's setting you get the magnification of the earth which is why it, it, it's so big. Like when the sun's going down on the horizon, it's huge. And when the moon is rising over the horizon, it's huge. That is the best time to try to catch the moon is right. Like, I mean, it is going to be, it's a big blood red, right? Moon? Is that what it's called? Tonight, tonight is a blood red moon. Now, is it also an eclipse? Is that what I yeah. saw? Like the first eclipse in centuries, which I swear to God, dude, I hear like no, no, every no, no, fucking year. First. Not the first. It's the longest eclipse in his in in centuries, right? So, okay. Um, the eclipse lasted. It's already done. If you missed it, oh. you're you're fucked. If you're I mean, fucked. If you're Never on mind. the East Coast, you <laughs> missed it. If you're in the U.S., you probably missed it. Most of um, like most of the rest of the world caught it, but uh, yeah, it was a two-hour long eclipse. Oh, cool. And it's the blood red moon because the um. Earth passes in front of the moon, in between the sun and the moon, right? But the la the rays of light from the sun, because it's fucking gigantic, uh, still hits the moon, but it passes through our atmosphere first, and our atmosphere um, filters out the blue rays from the moon, and or I mean blue rays from the sun, making the moon appear red, because only the red light gets through. Right. It looks fucking beautiful. I've seen a shit ton of pictures, and I'm so disappointed that we missed it, but uh, such is life. It was from, like, um, fucking 5 to 7, I think, tonight, or something like that, but yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So, in any case, um, <clears throat> we're not all going to die from the Mars. And I think that's all I read from there, so we should probably just move on. Okay, so we have a Colombian drug gang that put a $70,000 hit on a poor puppy's head. Dog, puppy, six-year-old German Shepherd. They were pissed because 22,000 pounds of cocaine was confiscated oh. by the dog, Zombra. Uh huh. Um. So now they put a hit out on the dog of seventy thousand. The dog's been moved. Now what I don't understand is they've given where the dog's been moved to because they said an airport in this town. And I would assume in the middle of bumfuck, you probably only have one airport in that town. So they've told you where the dog is, but yeah, they they said they've given the dog a little bit more security. Um, but the dog's been pretty successful in sniffing out drugs. And has done so for a while. Um, so poor puppy has a hit out on him. I thought that was interesting. And along the same dog lines, uh -huh. a Chinese dog owner must pay six U.S. dollars, six thousand six hundred sixty dollars. It's a sign of the devil. Um, compensation to Lamborghini driver who hit her golden retriever. So essentially, what happened was. The, the woman's daughter was walking their dog. The dog broke free the leash, ran out, hit a Lamborghini. The Lamborghini owner said to the daughter, let me give you some money for the vet for the dog. So the girl calls her mother on the phone, and her mother says, call the police. The police come and determine that the owner of the dog owes the Lamborghini driver money because it damaged the vehicle. Right. How fucked up is that? That's China, by the way. That would be the U.S. too. Yeah, probably. It's like the thief who falls through the fucking skylight and sues you because of the skylight. Yeah, I mean, honestly, though, it's not, I mean, 
in truth, it's not the Lamborghini's owner's fault. It's the dog's owner's fault. Right, because they didn't have them under control. Right. But But the guy that owned the Lamborghini was like, here, I'll give you some money for the vet. And the mother's like, oh, call the police. And then she gets fucked. That's what you get. You should have just taken the fucking money. That's fucking karma right there. All right. Karma's a bitch. (laughs) That's the theme of tonight. Karma's a bitch. Okay, so. Are we almost done? Because I am almost out of wine. (laughs) That's a problem. We have 20 minutes left. Do you need to go get more wine? I can Uh, talk. I would need to go to the liquor store. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I know. You know, actually, I have your, I know. If we could only trade, because I have a shit ton of tequila here. From the, <laughs> tequila. Last, time that, from the last time that you were at my house. I don't, I don't think it was a nah, 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 nah. Um, All right. So, don't do that. did you ever get a job offer on an email from somebody who claims to be this big employment agency? Well, probably not, because what? you don't really go on the employment agency's places, but... This was, uh, what's the name of the place? I know talking, we've all seen these. Like a, um, In like Touch a or something. Like a staffing huh? company? A staffing yeah. Company? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I hired okay. from staffing so, companies. So you would go online. You'd get in touch with these people. The people would say, okay, we have a job, but you need to pay between $300 and $700 in order to, to access this job availability. Stupid oh, motherfuckers shit. would pay. Are you fucking serious? You dumbasses, yes. And then they would show up to go start their first day as a receptionist at X company. X company doesn't know who the fuck you are or what you're doing there and tells you, no, sorry, bye bye. Come to find Ooh, out. And you're just there out was, 700 bucks. Right? There was a scam being run. By a Nigerian prince. A prince. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are we talking a Nigerian prince? Or are we talking a ni- legit Nigerian prince? Because legit I'm pretty sure, Nigerian prince. I'm pretty sure I've gotten those emails. Like, I'm a legit like, <laughs> Nigerian prince. <laughs> you have been awarded. Send me that $5,000 and I can make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Or... We need to send some money to your country. Can you accept a million dollars and then give us 800000 back? Right, yeah. Just give us your routing number and your right. account number. And we'll directly right. deposit it into your account. Right, or go to Walgreens and purchase YouTube or purchase uh, Microsoft cards worth $20,000 because we can only take them that way. <laughs> right. Yeah, so this guy is actual Nigerian prince was busted for a fake employment agency scam on in the United States. Get the fuck they, out. Yeah, they ended up netting over fifty four thousand dollars in fees that and didn't provide a single job. And that's because dumbass is here, paid them fucking money, thinking they were gonna get a job, and then went there and had no job. You're a dumbass. You know, people like that, you almost don't feel sorry for that they got scammed because they're so fucking stupid. Like, all I know is that not that's not the kind of person I want working for my company, anyways. Right? You're a fucking idiot. No, we'll pass. Thanks. <clears throat> all right. Uh, what else do we got? The black flag, flying black fly, excuse me, flying car. Aims to go on sale next year for the price of an SUV. Say what now? The next what? year, you okay. should be able to buy a flying car for the price of an SUV. Get like a flying, like, <laughs> flying car. Next year. Do you think so? I think it's going to create a whole lot of shit. Oh, dude, could you imagine? I could have a whole nother hour of... <laughs> before, before I get to work. Right? Forget your fucking easy pass lanes, motherfucker. I got a plane. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Look. I, I mean, I could essentially shower and dress for work. All I'd have to do is get up, move my ass to the car, and then I could sleep another hour on the way to work. <laughs> 
Right? Exactly. Look, a flying car. The down. Jetsons I'm, are here. I'm telling my truck. I'm getting myself a fucking flying plane, dude. <laughs> it's it. Black Flag. Damn right. So you want to go too? Damn right. So we mentioned this earlier. Um, Stormy Daniels divorce. A strange husband claims she's putting daughter in danger. Yeah, um, she's a fucking stripper. She just went to jail. She's a money-hungry, gold-digging bitch. She's I would agree okay. with your assessment. Your daughter's probably not in good hands. So, there's this next article. Mm -hmm. What does sleeping with your arms above your head mean? Experts say it could mean a few things. Now, do you ever sleep like that? With your arms, like, above your head? Yeah, like every night. Well, just so you know, it could mean a couple things. <laughs> oh, great, I'm going to be psychoanalyzed on this show. <laughs> this is fantastic. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, no judgment. No judgment here. But you could be a snorer 